Oh, there you are, YouTube. Do, 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 do. Subscribe if you're interested. Hey, let's do a random ranking. Let's go to my movie collection behind me and pick out three movies at random and then rank those movies based on whatever criteria we come up with. I will rank them here in the video, but if you'd like to rank them in the comments below, please feel free to do so. And then I'll dive into that comment section and then we will talk about cinema. Let's get to picking those movies. You know, I feel like I had some... If I, if I remember correctly, I had some success in this area. It's kind of late in the day, so I'm thinking I might just do the thing where I pull three movies that are next to one another, which is okay to do because my collection is not in alphabetical order. It's completely random back there. Maybe not completely random because they used to be in alphabetical order when they were upstairs, but then uh, I had kids and had to move the collection down here. Actually, was that when we did it? When did, or we, we created their playroom, that's what it was. We created their playroom and then moved them down here. And then it's been, it's been a, a free-for-all ever since. Okay, what do we got? Okay. Oh, okay. This will be interesting. I don't know. I think I've only... I don't know. Maybe I've ranked two of these. One of these I didn't even know I had. One of them I didn't know I had. Okay, I think I maybe got it for Easter, though. It's, the memories are all coming back to me now, like Celine Dion. Okay, so first we have Solaris, 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 but this is the remake. This isn't the Russian one. This is the one, uh, was it Aronofsky? I feel like it was. Um, and which is funny because I think I had an Aronofsky film. No, I had Soderbergh the other day. Is this Soderbergh or Aronofsky? Or neither one. James Cameron produced. Very cool. Okay, it's Soderbergh. Uh, Steven Soderbergh, but yeah, I had a Soderbergh movie yesterday, Sex, Lies, and Videotape. I think that was yesterday, maybe two days ago. Uh, anyway, so he's he's making appearances, he's popping up, but yeah, I like this movie. I would actually put it on to fall asleep to a lot when I was in graduate school. I would stay up uh, really late uh, writing my thesis and then pop this in and then calmly fall asleep to the, the sounds of of a spacecraft in space. So I've seen the beginning of this movie a lot. I haven't seen the ending of it a lot, but um, it is pretty interesting, kind of like the, the visions and everything that people are seeing. Um, uh, but but it does deserve a rewatch because I, I feel like I, I know the, the opening more so than the ending because the ending I haven't seen as much. Uh, Viola Davis is in it um, that girl from The Truman Show, whose name I never remember. Um, that's her right there in The Truman Show. Not, not, um, not, you know, gosh, I just lost her name. <laughs> not his pretend wife, but the, the, like, the one that got away, that's who's in this. But yeah, I really like the look of this movie. I like the feel of it, the the, the ambient sounds that are coming from it. Um, I'm I'm a fan. Uh, I do have the other Solaris, the original, back there somewhere. Um, okay, next we have Finding Neverland. Johnny Depp. He was nominated for an Oscar for this one, and uh, I always like looking at him when he was nominated uh, because you know he's he's kind of an eccentric. Uh, person when it comes to his outfits, but he looks incredibly normal uh, at that Oscars. But yeah, this was a nice movie. You know, it's not, I see, I, every, everybody assumes I, I love everything Peter Pan because my favorite movie of all time is Hook. And you know, I, I like the Peter Pan story. I like the, the Barry story, but um, really it's, it's the movie Hook for me more than it is Peter Pan, you know, I like Disney's Peter Pan. I, I like, like all of this stuff, but like, I haven't even watched the, the new Peter Pan and Wendy movie. I haven't seen that. I never saw Return to Neverland, uh, that animated sequel to the Disney version. I think that's what it's called anyway. I don't watch those Tinkerbell movies or anything. I think I saw one with one of my uh, little cousins, not little anymore, now grown up. Wild. How'd they do that? I remember when she was born. Um, but you know, when it comes to me and Peter Pan, it's more just Hook, Robin Williams uh, playing Peter Pan for for me. But I do like this movie uh, quite a bit. It's it's um you know it's 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 tough. It's it's a sad 
watch. It's, it's kind of a, a difficult watch. Probably would be much more difficult for me today uh, than, than when it came out. I know that for a fact. I'd, um, if I gave that a recent watch, I know I'd be crying through it. So here's the one that I was like, wait, I own this, but I'm, I'm pretty sure I got it for Easter. Maybe it was for Christmas for my in-laws. They uh, do really well with the holidays. Um, but we have Civil War here, the, the MCU, Captain America, Civil War. Now, this was a cool one because we were introduced to Spider-Man, uh, Tom Holland, and we had that epic battle in that, um, that, that giant slab of concrete, which was really cool. Um, so, yeah, um, you know, I, I... I feel like these are movies that I really love when I'm watching them, but then they don't have much staying power. A lot of these MCU movies, specifically the Captain America movies, although I do really like the first Captain America movie, but I don't revisit it often. And this one, uh, don't revisit often. If I'm revisiting a Marvel movie, it is the first Iron Man film and the Guardians of the Galaxies. Uh, th those are my uh, rewatches, especially the first Guardians of the Galaxy. Love that. Um, to me, those movies, I still haven't seen the third one, probably will in a week or two, uh, but those movies are, are top notch for me. I, but I know a lot of people love the Captain America movies and, and to them, that's where it's at when it comes to the MCU, it's these movies. Okay, so how are we gonna rank these? Um, Okay, you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to do this. Um, so I'm going to go Solaris. Solaris? How am I supposed to be saying that? Solaris? Uh, number one. I actually did a painting, a drawing, a couple drawings of this movie. Um, so this is number one. And then number two, I'm going to go with Finding Neverland with Johnny Depp and Kate Winslet. And... Uh, then I'm gonna go Captain America Civil War at the end. Sorry, I know I know we have a lot of MCU fans out there, but I just have to put it at the end because while it, you know, has that... Oh, when Ant-Man shows up, that's actually really cool. Is that my favorite part? I really like Ant-Man. That's this movie, right? Pretty sure it is. Yes. I remember him running on that slab of concrete uh, for that battle. Um, but... Again, sometimes these movies feel like Iron Man Part 32, or however many we have. Iron Man Part 17, you know, that sort of thing. So, nothing, nothing against sequels, though. So that's not even an argument. I don't even know why I said that, because I don't even believe in that. Um, but, I don't know. It's It just feels like one tiny blip on a... a of. Of a, a larger thing where some of the other ones have more standing power, uh, staying power, sticking power for me when it comes to how I feel about the Marvel movies, right? So I'm going to go, uh, again, Solaris, then Finding Neverland, and then Captain America Civil War. So my question to you is, have you seen these movies? And if so, what do you think of them? And if you've seen all three, how would you rank them? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments below, and perhaps I'll see you tomorrow for more Pure Hangout.